video. Yep. Like the front of the colors try on. Hey y'all. So I'm going to be doing a quick try on of lip products that I've gotten from Sh Shop Miss A. I honestly tried to do a video wearing all these things that I got wearing and using all these things that I got from Shop Miss A. I'll try to insert a photo maybe somewhere there. And um it was a big ass fail. Okay? And I think by looking at these you can kind of see what color theme I was going for. I also have a gloss and a nude lippy. So I'm simply just going to be putting them on so that you see how they apply and what their colors are. Uh, the only one that's not the AOA Studio brand, which I think is like the Shop Miss A brand, is this one. And um, it's by the brand Salavi. I can't tell you the color because this one has no color. Uh, I'll start off. Ugh. I think I'll start off with the nude because hopefully that won't that one won't leave like a stain or anything. And I'm sorry if you see my mirror. What the fuck? Mine is like bent. Can you see that? Uh, I'm sorry if y'all see me working, but with lips I like to get all close and personal. This is really like fucking bent. I mean super bent. It's a pretty good um pretty good color payoff for just one swipe. Um I guess I'll go ahead and dip in again. Not one swipe, but one like dip. Does that make sense? I'll go ahead and dip it again and see how it layers. I think that's what I'm going to go ahead and do with all of them. I think I like how this nude is working with this like gold mustard yellow thing. Because it's not like real pinky, if that makes sense. So, I think I'm going to go ahead and do that with all of them. I'm just going to do like two uh, dips just to see how they kind of the second layer stacks on the first layer. Not bad. It doesn't feel chunky. It doesn't look chunky. I would get y'all like in real close, but you know that girl's got a girl stash. <laughs> Let me know what y'all think. It does feel like it's going to be kind of drying. They don't feel like super sticky. I'm liking it. I'm liking it. Hmm. I highly doubt that they're going to be transfer proof, but let's see. Oh my gosh, Becky. It's not transfer proof. Damn it. It's upside down for y'all, but it's not transfer proof. Ugh. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and wipe this off. After I did that, it felt a little bit more drying. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and wipe it off and move on to the next color. Okay, next I'll be trying on the AOA Wonder Mat is 20 called Fab. The number is 2014. Oops. So there's the color. This one's next. This is the one Fab. Um, still, I've 
had to dip in twice already and it's still not like couldn't cover all my lips so this is the third dip talking about this one real quick uh still touching on fab it is very drying i mean it's extremely dry now and i just finished putting it on literally i turned off that scene and clicked it right back to record but it's patchy to me and i had to dip like four times um but it is extremely dry like not like a heavy dry either it's just kind of patchy in places I don't want it to be patchy and my lips look so uneven right now but I'm gonna go ahead and finish trying on the other colors and see if it has something to do with the brand or if it has something to do with this particular one but I think it's gonna have to do with the packaging uh, transfer it's like no transfer that's how freaking dry it is I love this color I think it goes great with this mustard so I might end up wearing it today, but as far as application, I'll talk to you about that at, in the end. So as you can see, Fab did stain my lips quite a bit. <sighs> okay, but now I'm going to Drama, same brand. Let's see how this goes. First dip. So talking about drama real quick, I feel like it's kind of less patchy than the lighter one, which is weird because I figured the darker one would be more patchy. It definitely does have some streaks and patches, and if your lips are dry, it would definitely stick to those uh, areas. Again, it doesn't feel sticky. It feels like it's already nearly dry. Um, y'all, my lips look so uneven. It's just they are hurting right now, and I'll talk to y'all about the thing I'm gonna tell y'all about. Um, I actually like this color as well. I keep looking down because my mirror is here. It's like fab, just a tad bit darker. Let's see about the kiss proof. It has some little bitty parts there and it's really just dryness that's coming up off the lip but as far as like tint not really again little dry pieces like I said if you if your lips are dry it's gonna show with this these are six I think like that. okay let me finish taking it off Whew. all right now I'm gonna go into um the Salabi, like I said, this one doesn't have a number or a shade, and it's already super faded. Like it, I can't tell you I've tried this one on before, and I feel like I'm wasting my time here. But let's go ahead and just try it on for the sake of the video. So let's get started. Okay, so here's the Salavi one. I can tell you right off the bat, it does feel stickier than the other ones. Um, it is drying down pretty quick, 
what I noticed is that with the second coat, it usually kind of peels off a little bit of the first coat. Y'all, my lips are red. And here, the butthole does not start off good. Like, I feel like with the other ones, the butthole started off okay. Not saying that the butthole was going to be good for the rest of the day. But it started off okay. And here, it's like, mm-mm. No, honey. The problem I have with this one, surprisingly, as I wear it throughout my day, because I really, really love this color. I feel like it has a bit of a, like a copper undertone, kind of. Not straight purple. And um, the problem I had is it started fading from the bottom and the top. Not even the butthole. The bottom and the top. It was so weird. It's like it was moving around. Even though it was dry, it was moving around. And it was the strangest thing to me. So I only wore it that one time and never wore it again. I was at work and I was walking around like I can't believe I have patchy ass fucking lips at work. Yeah. Uh, there is a little bit more. I don't know if y'all be able to see that. I do see two lines there. As it starts drying down, it's not that uncomfortable. But like I said, I had a bad experience with it already. So, I don't really wear it anymore. We have one more item to try out. And it's what I'm going to end the video with. So, I'm not going to talk about it too much because it's simply a gloss. So, let me start wiping this off. So that y'all could be able to see that. Y'all, these lips are so stained. And they hurt so much. Taking all those matte lipsticks off, like, repeatedly. It's just like, ouch. So, they're a little red from stain, being stained and just from being rubbed on. So, here it is. Back to shop, I mean, AOA Studios. Here is the gloss. This is my second dip. So there's the gloss, and this is the gloss. Oh, this is the diamond lip gloss because I do have different ones. This color just kind of reminded me a little bit of the Fenty, but of course when I put it on, it's not like Fenty. Um, so overall, let's talk about the shop, I mean the AOI Studios ones first. As y'all saw with my matte, which is called a bombshell. As y'all saw with my nude, it was like bent. So that was like boo, boo, whatever. Um, with these, my only thing is, like, I feel like the stick is so long and, like, it bends so much that it doesn't give for an easy application. There's easy, there's room for error, I guess you could say. With me, I have to be very concentrated on my lips because my lips, I don't feel, are even. So, I have to, like, really concentrate on my lips and really be close up. And I feel like those weren't really letting me do it because... I could be trying to move and it kind of still be stuck like this because it like wobbles so much if that makes sense. Uh, so lobby, I already told you what I thought was wrong with it but it does have like a shorter wand so it doesn't like move as much as you have a lot more control. I think if these, I understand that they're trying to give you a lot of product but I think in the end I'm, when I do wear these I'm going to have to use like a lip brush because the double applicator on that I think is just too long or the plastic is just not sturdy enough to where it's just a little bit too wobbly where in an area where I really need it to be precise. Um, other than that, of course I didn't do a wear test. I think I will be wearing Fab today. I'll put it on a little bit later once my lips kind of recover. But other than that, I mean for a dollar they weren't that bad. Y'all did see that some had some patchy areas. 
as far as the lobby, I wouldn't try it again, and I already told you why. Um, but yeah, let me know if you've ever tried any of these uh, liquid lipsticks or from any other brand because they have a bunch of brands from Shop Miss A. And tell me what you thought about them. Like, did they work out for you or did they not? If you tried a brand that I didn't try and you think it's like better, please let me know because you know everything's a dollar on Shop Miss A. So why not? Um, make sure you subscribe and the like button.